Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop. And in today's video, I asked my Facebook group a question. I actually did a poll. I said, hi all, I'm going to make a YouTube video about whatever topic you like. It has to be tarot related. The option that gets the most votes is the winner. Now, the one that got the most votes was asked by Jack Walter, and the, the uh, topic was court cards analysis. So court cards analysis in the tarot. So I'm gonna go into analyzing the court cards and where I see people getting messed up by the court cards, which happens a lot. Let's start off with the knights. Okay, so the, the biggest mistake I see on Facebook and when students are starting to read tarot is they don't realize a knight is a man on a horse. Usually it's a young man. Knights go on missions. They're not ready to settle down and start a kingdom yet. Okay, so often I'll get women, especially women, they'll ask about a guy and they'll say, you know, is he the one for me or is he gonna settle down or are we gonna have a long-term relationship? If in the spread, the knight comes up as him, it often means no, because he's not a king. He's not ready to settle down. This is the one of the biggest mistakes I see online, especially. Okay, so for a serious man, you need a king, not a knight. If you keep getting a knight, it means he's not ready to settle. Now, the other thing that knights do, because they bring change and they often go on a mission, it often means that the situation is not settled. He's on a horse, he's going somewhere. Now, there's different horses, of course. There's the, like the galloping one, and then there's the one that's uh, more uh, sort of stationary. So this one's a slow moving guy or a slow moving situation. And then we have the um, prancing, almost like prancing. Okay, this is like a guy that's gonna offer you something. And then we have the aggressive fighter. Okay, this one's usually domestic violence or aggression. So this is not a good one to have in a relationship. He's usually comes fast and goes fast as well. Uh, the the Knight of Cups is usually a charmer. Often he's associated with Cupid as well, like uh, attraction, desire, but not possibly not stable in the sense of serious. Means well, but doesn't um, stick around. Maybe promises too much as well. This guy here, the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles often is a bit boring. Often this one is slow in moving and slow in getting things done. So often you, you're sort of bored by the time he actually makes a move. Okay, and then you've got the sort of fiery, feisty, the uh, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is often a, a traveler, likes to go on a mission. So again, he's not ready to settle, his horse is galloping on. Okay, that's one of the biggest mistakes that uh, people make with the court cards. Now you can also look up the different um, elements. So for example, earth is pentacles, wands is fire and so on. But that's stuff that you have to research yourself. I'm not gonna go into that in this video. The second confusing part of the court cards, I would say is the pages. I always think of the page like a page boy or a flower girl at a wedding. So a page is a child. So you have the, you know, the, you have the uh, masculine ones, which are the wands and the swords. So these could be boys or children with kind of aggressive energy, say. And then you have the cup and the pentacles, which are, I, I often see these as girls. Okay, so the pages are children. So it could be childish behavior. 
Now the pages also can mean messages. If you think of a child, you know, you might, if you have a child at home, say a, say a seven year old, you might say to that child, go and tell your dad that we're going to have dinner in half an hour, or go and tell your dad we need to, he needs to go and buy some milk. So you're telling the child to go and tell someone uh, something. Now there's different types of communication. There's aggression, again with the sword, page of swords. This often means aggressive and rude. Uh, then you've got the wands, which is more about, you know, just telling things firmly. The page of cups is a bit like soft talking, perhaps a proposal or a saying something in a gentle way. And then you've got the page of pentacles, which is a bit like more about money and it could also be a bit of a slow communication things taking slow a, a slow time sort of like snail mail okay so but most of the time people just get these confused and they don't know what they're for so it's either communication or a child and the element will tell you what type of communication it is now we come to the kings now in the Rider Waite deck, which is the deck I'm using, this is a variation of that deck. It's, this is the yellow, the yellow uh, tarot card deck with keywords that I've created for my students. The Kings tell you about their personality. We look at the King of Wands, he's sideways and he's ready to go somewhere. So he's an, a man of action. The King of Cups is kind of like looking more forward to us. But he's also on water, which indicates he's emotional, sensitive, and then so on. Okay, you can look the you can look up the different meanings uh, in your own time. But basically, the kings are a male. He's a man, and he's got a throne, and he's got a kingdom. This is a, usually a significant partner or a significant man. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. It represents, if you're reading for a male client, then this one of these would be the, the client. So if, for example, if I was reading for a male client and he was, a, say, a Taurus, I would probably think of him as the King of Pentacles. Uh, however, if I was reading for a client and he's a male and just any card came up first, just, just imagine I had a client and he wants to know about his job, say. Whatever card comes up first as the male, I would represent that as him. So even if he is a Taurus, it doesn't necessarily have to be, just say just say he's a Taurus and this one came up for him. I would say you have to be firm and strong and direct like, an eight, like the King of Swords. So sometimes it goes by star sign, but sometimes it goes by energy and that's where you have to use your intuition. Tarot is an intuitive system. You have to learn the meanings, but then you've got to use your intuition. Now the queens. The queens are obviously women, and each queen has a different element and a different type of energy. The queens represent strong women and the significant women in the reading. So if you're reading for a woman, the first card that pops up as her is her in the situation. So for example, if I was reading for a female client, just say she's in her 30s, and she wants to know about work, we could, well, just say the first card comes up and just say it's the Queen of Pentacles. I would tell her to be stable, slow moving, focus on money, make sure everything is grounded, uh, make sure everything is done thoroughly and in a patient way, okay? So this one, the Queens represent the women. Now, if you're reading for a man, just say he's asking about a career and a Queen comes up, Queen of Wands, we could say there's a significant female that he works with or for, and she's going to influence him for better or worse, depending on what the other cards in the spread show. So that was the court cards analysis. Obviously, it takes a long time to read and understand what the court cards mean and how they affect the reading. So it's going to take time for you to go and study and practice. I've just taken you through a sort of simple method and simple understanding of how I use the court cards. 
the rest of it is up to you to practice and learn your own system and your own style. This is Paris de Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop.